You know, I'm getting ready to say, welcome to the UFC training center, et cetera, et cetera. And... Let him, let him sit down, let him sit down. One of the guys faints, <laughs> just drops dead on the floor. I'm not a man of excuses, but uh, I didn't realize how, how hot Vegas could be, 105 degrees. You all right, bro? He didn't have a seizure. You know, nothing was seriously wrong with him. He just basically fainted. Noguera, Pride heavyweight champion. <laughs> now UFC heavyweight champion. Legend in this sport, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Frank Mir, former heavyweight champion of the UFC. And arguably one of the best heavyweights on the ground ever in the sport. Oh, my quads. Oh, everything. Don't want it to tear. Don't want it to tear. All right, dude. Just don't want you to tear. I'm trying to help him out to the best we can today and and see what we can do, but he's struggling really badly. The weight wasn't going to beat me. I'm not Gay Brudiger. I'm not walking out of that house until, you know, somebody makes me walk out of the house, you know. Where's the best spot to stand on this thing? 207. You missed weight. There's no point in having you here. You're obviously too heavy. You haven't been doing the right things uh, to come in and fight at that weight. So you're gone. Kristoff is like a caged animal. Kristoff. This is fired up and I love kids that have that attitude. With a name like Machete, man, you better come out and start kicking people's heads off. He was more like the butter knife. It's in. Hooks! It's in. Hooks! Watch him. Oh! Pull it. Tap! That kid hits like a headway, man. Hold his shoulder. Hit your shoulders to the mat. Hold his shoulder. Yeah! Keep that Saw that. Hey, punch. South, baby, the south. Nice. <laughs> Caught me in my rib, but I didn't really realize I saw every time I would counter, a bomb would pop out. You gotta tell me yes or no, are you gonna fight? The winner advancing into the house. Wait, 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 Knees are legal as long as you're standing, but they're not legal to the head on the ground. Brian was still on the ground, and Brandon hit him with an illegal knee to the face. Just sign right there, and we'll get you over to the hospital. Brian was dominating the fight. He got hit with an illegal knee. It's only fair to bring him into the house. The other guy, I'm not saying he did it intentionally, but he did it, so he's going home. Be honest, dude. I belong in with Napoleon, dog, Alexander, dude, Hitler. That's why I belong with, dog. Put me back in the in the BC times and DC times, whatever, you know, back back in the day. Put me back in the day, dog. Expose myself to the masses, blazing to the masses, you know what I mean? Boom. i would be conquering, dude, period. You know what I mean? Pillaging. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. All right, you're done. No more. It's over? Yeah. Jimmy Brownie went out there and put on a good display of athletic ability. I think I did the, the wise thing, you know what I mean? Pulling out a little bit before I really f myself up. Good. I'm pretty. That's all that matters, dog. Nice. Murphy's Law, bro. Sun shines on every dog's ass sometimes. Just attack his leg. If I was really this corner, I think I'd throw the towel in now. Stop, 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 stop. 
I'm happy. I'm ready to train hard. I'm ready to get down to business. You know, I, I want this. Good job, brother. Joey's a nice guy. He hugged me. I don't care, you know. I like to hug too. Yes, nice. Your winner by rear naked choke submission, Shay. Hell yeah, I'm excited to go to the house. Are y'all giving us food tonight? Because I want a steak. Good job, Yes, 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 yes. Rip the top head off her head. Rip the top head off her head. Stop, stop, stop. Efren's moving in the house with a submission victory. You know, I told you I was going to take him down, take his back, and choke him out. That's exactly what happened. Tom Lawler. It's like a like a big fat gorilla or you know a chimpanzee was all over my back all day these past few days and I'm just ecstatic, you know? You got his head arm nice and strong. Oh strong. Yes! Yeah! And I hurt him gurgling a little bit, so I just squeezed harder and then he tapped. You guys did it, man. You made it. This is it. This is the biggest opportunity of your life. Your life begins today. All right? Congratulations, guys. Make the most of it, all right? I was raised to be tough, poor, poor <laughs> We lived in a little bitty small trailer. They should never show me this. Save that for later. I had two older brothers. Used to beat the out of me all the time, so I learned how to fight just naturally off them. I can take a punch pretty good. <laughs> 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 like, I hope it goes out magically. You guys both have fractured noses, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission has put you on a 180-day suspension. Sorry, guys. You got to go home. Go ahead, you guys. You got to walk out the door there. You don't want to be completely insensitive, but, guys, you got to leave, you know? I will have a Ryan brother. Ryan, I think one of the best guys in the house. That guy might be a champ uh, this season. Watch and see. Juni Browning. I don't care, call me Kuta Kente. <laughs> ah, I like it! Since everyone's so lame, I think I'm gonna have a little fun tonight. Since we don't have any TV, I think I'll be the only entertainment. Red team, I see you, jerseys. Come on. Come on, guys. You know you want to. Let's go. I'm ready to fight. He has some psychological issues. Juni's parents, maybe they didn't love him or something. I guess uh, he just needs some love and caring, I guess. Juni definitely has got some, uh, got some demons in him. Uh, it was a full circle. You know, it was from happiness to anger to depression to crying back to happiness to, oh, I'm sorry. I love you guys. Seriously, I love you guys. I love you guys for real, man. I like you guys. He's a 67 years old guy. Uh, he likes to work hard, same as me. And these kids, I'm teaching them to reach for all they can reach for. How many kids can say they had the opportunity to be an ultimate fighter. Bader versus Lawler, two wrestlers is always an interesting fight to me because uh, if they're both equal at wrestling, um, they'll stand up. These guys will stand up and bang, and it's always about whose hands are better. So somebody usually ends up getting smashed or, uh, or knocked out. I see him sit around the table and call uh, Noguera coach, call this guy coach and stuff. None of these here are my coach. My coach is already back home. These are our temporary coaches. I mean, um, they're talking to each other like they were raised around each other. They're gay as hell. Keep him on his back, man! Yeah. 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 Last thing I remember is uh, his, you know, nice shiny, sparkly hair and a big fist coming down straight at my face. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. You want to get me by a lightweight? 
Bless him, Judy. man. Junie's throwing nuts at everybody. I end up throwing some nuts in Junie's face to give him a taste of his own medicine. I'm telling you, like, I'm going to smash you in the first round, dude. What's going on? I don't keep know. I, he's, I think he's upset. I am upset. Why you keep laughing like it's a game, dude? For some reason, he wanted to fight me. He's laughing. What? 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 What's up, man? 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 What's at that point, Kristoff put Junie's clothes into the pool, and man, just all went downhill from there. Did you really do it? Seriously? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Why? Wow. You got a little lesson. You started to say you stuck my stuff in the pool, man. Yeah. Don't put your hands on me. Why the did you do that? Don't you put your hands on me. Man, I thought you were cool like that. You didn't stick my hands on me. Bunch of bitches. Hey, y'all wouldn't do it if I was Bunch of bitches? Yeah, you're a You're the bitch. Whatever. You're the bitch. You're the biggest bitch of them all. Right here. You are the biggest bitch of them all. Hit me, hit me. Hey, Ryder, Ryder. Stop, stop, stop. Stop! 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 Y'all's one way to all you all. Stop! Don't look at me like you're. Tell hit me, man. I don't give. From what I've seen on tape, Junie is punk and possibly a drunk. Gather the gang up, boys. Yes, sir. Extremely talented, but a chip on his shoulder and a punk. Junie. What the is wrong with you? I'm drinking. I, I just, I, you know, I watched the tape and uh, it's retarded. Yeah. What the is up with you? Yes. You're a drunken retard too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pushing guys and you two are feeding off each other. <clears throat> Shane, you want to fight, bro? Yeah. I'm going to talk to the coaches. We'll get you a fight. You're first. Day. And dude, believe me, everybody was positive that I was gonna kick you off this show today. Yeah, it was too. Be a man while you're in here, all right? Sorry, guys. Quit acting like retards. If Ephraim does take him down, man, that's not where Ephraim wants to be because Shane's very good in the guard. The pressure is on Shane because Shane ran his mouth like an idiot over and over again. My prediction is Efren's gonna come out and drill him in the face. And as soon as he went for it, I went for the triangle. Good job, Ephraim! Next, he's, gonna, he's gonna be the next one to be finished, okay? You know that. Just lay up, people, like a yeah. bitch! He's gonna be the next to be finished. Yeah. What's wrong with you, Junie? Junie, listen! What the f***? Exactly what the UFC is, a boring-ass wrestler! Junie, calm the f*** down, bro. Calm the f*** down. Junie, I guess, would jump the cage. I got Noguera, the other coach, trying to hold him back. You want to be able to be in this house still, dude? We got him, man. We got him. You can't freak out and do like that, man. You got to calm down. I can go from uh, chill to kill real fast. I don't really, I don't know what triggers it. I mean, some people in the house think I might have a little bit of an anger problem. I don't, I guess you can call it that. <laughs> like, one day he'll be, like, happy, and then all of a sudden he'll be, like, all, like, crazy. And I mean, I, I like the guy. I think bipolar is more so, like, a lot of bipolar, like, he has things that trigger him. He's not my boy, he's just a f dick. <laughs> my name is Anderson Silva, I'm from Brazil. I'm Midway Championship UFC.
Went ahead and put itching powder in Efren's bed. It didn't just stop there for the red team. We went ahead and put some in Kyle's bed, in Philippe's bed, in his robe. Me, they got Delgado, they got Efren, and they got Felipe on his robe. And it's extremely uh, irritating to the skin. I rubbed some of it on my forearm and it itched for about an hour. This is madness. I think they crossed the line and uh, we got something in store for them. This is the that sticks, man. So we thought about, you know, fish, sardines, put them all over the room. <laughs> there we go. Now you're really gonna smell it. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, this really stinks like a vagina. You want to put smells in my bed? Uh, sounds good to me. It's strange, but I kind of like the smell of uh, salmon. It's not bad. I to be honest, I... it's a pretty lame prank, because it doesn't even smell that bad. But it doesn't really bother me. Efren, then he pissed on your bed. Oh, what? Oh, wow. I was really out of line just going right up to someone and peeing on their pillow. It's disgusting. It's uh, it's like an animal. Boom! You, you, you see, I, I was talking to Frank. I talked to the guy. You, you know, gotta, you gotta talk to him as a group. There's there's five thousand people who would love to be sitting in their spot now. We gotta just nip it in the butt. Where? That's it. So you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go home. I don't care. <laughs> Am I gonna win this competition? That's not the next two hundred feet for me. You know, the next two hundred feet for me is Shane Prim. I can't think about who I'm gonna fight in the Sammies. What I'm gonna do when I get home. Shane Prim is my 200 feet that I gotta walk. That's it! Yes, I squeeze! Stop, stop! <laughs> Elliot was able to hook up the rear naked choke, squeezed him out, and Shane had nothing to do but tap. Stop, stop! Elliot completely dominated him. Spanked him. Hey, Delgado, no, I gotta ask you, bro. So you told me you're a black belt in jiu jitsu. Who'd you get your black belt? Dejon Ferris. Dejon Ferris? Yeah. You're down in Brazil? Put, yeah. How long did you go to Brazil for? Oh, wait, I was there for a week. Uh, I think Rolando, uh, you know, bought his black belt from McDonald's because uh, if Rolando does have a legitimate black belt, please just explain to me where you got it and don't give us an hour long story of how you fell upon a black belt. I think the ceremony that Rolando had was actually where a UPS man came to his front door with a package and hand delivered it to him. Um, and then he opened it and it was his black belt. You know, so the fight, as far as submissions and position, you're better. I thought I thought when I trained with him. Yeah. It's not like better, but it's just like a different game. It's like so basic. Hey, his is very bread and butter, right? Just... And then Vinny said you were a high-level grappler when you were a brown belt. But since you haven't competed in a while, you're not a high-level brown belt? He's a, he, he, he might be a good in the gym. Man. But when he steps there, that's why he wanted my first pick, man. You know? Yeah. Little balls, man. James. <laughs> É, como você assim, tu fica comentando com os caras. Ai, que o cara tá bom de jeito aqui, já vai lá, meu irmão. Bicho, porta, velho. Que isso? Eu falo de você, porta. Eu te dar a mão moral, entendeu, moleque? Tipo, você fez um negócio, pô, você já ficou de p. Nem cumprimenta direito, não tá nem sabendo o que tá acontecendo. Você já pegou a reação dos caras sem saber se tipo o negócio aconteceu mesmo, sabe? Não, mas não foi, não foi o que você me falou, velho. Foi geral que tá me falando, velho. Os caras, tipo, comem o p do outro, velho. No teu time, os caras ficam tudo tipo de. Jules, bro. Jules! Jules. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Where's Jules? No, it smells good in here, though. Jules, bro. That's a fast That's pretty bag. scary. You want me to fight? There's no way. He knows I'm a better fighter than him. Jules, go home. You're gonna get some mid-leg like, less than 30 seconds. You know, and I'm sitting there and I'm so, man, is he really gonna go go plot of him, which is a real, you know, pretty fancy choke from the mouth. Get out of there! He took his arm and gave it a nice pop. Get out of there! I almost fell asleep watching the fight until it went to the ground. 
Vinny's jiu-jitsu is amazing. His stand-up is amazingly boring. Thank God that fight went to the ground. <laughs> Sucker. Basically, for the last uh, few days, we've been stealing Tom Lawler's fruit tray as a, as a joke. Mm. Oh, oh. I just wish Lawler was still mm. here to enjoy it. I believe I will take matters into my own hands because I am pissed off. I shall pee in my own fruit platter, and if someone else eats it, then so be it. It's not my fault. <laughs> shake it, shake it. <laughs> All four had to go around at the fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop it. I can't stop it, made it burn. <laughs> Give me some of that fruit. Yeah, I gotta eat it all. Yeah. It says Lawler on it. Is your name Lawler? Mm -hmm. Mine's not Lawler. This is a little bigger one than the last time. <laughs> they thought the fruit was just uh, extra juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Until Kaplan told him it wasn't fruit juice. Did you really eat it? Yeah, I ate it. Yeah, we did eat piss. Not only did I pee in it, Shane peed in it, uh, Vinny peed in it, that was and good. Judy peed that was in it. Good. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I was just so hungry, I just didn't think that there would be urine in there. It didn't smell, it didn't nothing. It was just. I don't know what happened. After Tom Lawler's fruit platter incident, I was missing sushi. I've uh, been noticing that when I come back from training, the sushi's gone, somebody ate it. This happened a few times and I got really mad. I want my sushi, man! We're gonna set this up. I'm gonna set up my sushi. I put a little something special. Dude, if we spunk on the sushi and he eats it, I don't know we're in business. Surprisingly, not a lot at all. I prepared a very special uh, sauce for the California roll, and the sushi looks 100% intact and ready to be eaten. Finally, David Kaplan went for the sushi and ate it. Have you eaten sushi today? I ate one piece. It has Bleep Nova's name on it. Let's sing I Ate Somebody Else's Semen. Let's sing a song called I Shouldn't Have Taken Felipe's Sushi Because I Ate. <laughs> it's a duck egg that's right about to hatch, you know. Instead of letting it hatch, you just steal it away from the mother, and we uh, boil it up. Does it taste terrible? No, it tastes good, man. You guys are going to say it tastes good. Oh! We're going to eye the eyes. Oh! 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 156. I think Philippe is an incredibly talented kid. Uh, it just seems like this kid is going to dominate everybody here. Punching very good in the growl, and Kaplan gave his back. Yeah! Yeah! Slipped in my choke, and he tapped. Yeah! 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 So he pressed, he even pressed the other way like one more time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> From what I see of this kid right now, he reminds me of a GSP. When GSP was that young, I, I think this kid has so much potential. It, it's scary. He had kind of a rough day, kind of a rough fight, and I was going to go ahead and I was going to drink with him. Keep having me back. I cannot be knocked out. It's impossible. <laughs> I'll be back until it happens. Dude, all you pussies could knock me out. All you pussies together could knock me out. Kaplan and Tom 
I thought it would be a good idea to drink uh, piss out of a cup. Pretty disgusting. I don't really do that. No one I know does that back at home. And I really didn't want to hit Kaplan. Do it, just do it. But sometimes you just got to do things that you don't want to do in life. You're the lion. Cat. Oh, God. Cat. I wasn't knocked out, um, but he did hurt my, my jaw does hurt. Cap. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't unconscious. I mean, it, did, did it knock me down? Yeah, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't knocked out. This is unfair, the Brazilian soccer. We couldn't have played a game of football. I've never played soccer. Mir pulls up and says, this thing's biased. Of course he's played soccer, he's from Brazil. Listen, I'm from America, and I've never played baseball. All right, this is the coach's challenge. Yeah! I play football, this is weird. Goal! Right at Frank. Well, Frank's walking back to his thing, and he's getting, he's getting pissed. Good job, man. I think Kyle is the leader of the team. I want to, I want him to win that fight. I want to see it like four to three. We, we, we trust in him, man. I think he's gonna do good. You know, eventually the better man won, and I was the better man. Kristoff, to me, uh, he's an intimidating guy. I think he's in some of these guys' heads, and uh, I think he, he's got a shot of winning this thing. <laughs> Stop <laughs> throats! Stop throws out of here! Philippe is explosive. Well-rounded, aggressive. 155. Thank you. I had a nickname for him when we first started the season, Fainton Philippe. After I saw his first fight, boop, nickname gone, okay? Philippe just pranks it over and Rue passed the tap. When you punch a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt in the face once, he becomes a brown belt. If you land a nice combination on him, he turns to white. That's the game plan. Anytime he could even get a hand on him, he was pulling guard. The perfect game plan, but you, you slip once and you get caught. Uh, I'm from the show me state. You ain't gotta tell me anything. You just gotta show me. Dude, what the f oh, I'm talking to me. I'm not talking to you. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Relax, dude. Bro, bro, bro. Please, please, please. You're so Please, don't talk to me. You're going home now. What's going on? Being a dumbass. So, the f is wrong with you? I don't know, man. I can't figure out if you're retarded, bipolar, or if you're one of these dudes that is afraid of failing. I'm not a f out of store at all. Like you actually are because you act like a f idiot. <laughs> Reality stars are idiots. Yeah, I mean, 
from doing a good job of it. Yeah, you, so you're wrong. You're a great reality star. The question is, are you a great fighter? This guy should have been kicked off this show a long time ago. This kid's a nut job. He is a fruit loop. Here's my one problem, and here's why I'm talking to you right now. He wants me to kick him off this show. Same uh, uh, survivor and vote him off. Beat him off. That didn't sound good, did it? Here we go. Yes. Yes. You're going to be stronger in every position. I actually do want to hire Junie. Junie has been talking, getting under my skin since day one, and uh, now I get the chance to punch him in the face. Junie loses. Instead of me sending Junie home and letting him get off the hook, Efreon actually gets in there and gets to beat him on national television. Justice was served. Of course I'm gonna fight again. I know y'all were wanting me gone, but it's too bad. <laughs> Vinny faces Team Nogara powerhouse, Ryan Bader. Will the All-American wrestler smother the Brazilian's ground game? Or can Vinny's submissions carry the day? He's not going to be able to take Bader down, or very unlikely. Oh, big right hand! It Vinny's is in trouble! Oh, it. over! Ryan Bader! Declaring the winner by knockout, and now the Season 8 Ultimate Fighter Light Heavyweight winner, Ryan Bader! And now, the Ultimate Fighter Season 8 lightweight winner, Efrain Acho in Mexico, Escudero! Got me nervous. Right, We've been on the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves to make it official. After the pay to Pana loss. Oh, again! Oh, again! Oh, that's it! No gara! Finished for the first oh, time!